Okay, hello guys. Today I was solving problems on steel, steel design. So when while I was calculating this value, KL over L, KL over R, and then H over TF, I had these values. And these values are not directly on the steel table. That is IS800. 2007 table 14 look at it here what i have here you have and in whole numbers after 50 i have 60 there is no 50 no 52 then on the horizontal uh, on the row after 20 here after 20 i have 25 there is nothing like 24.1 so how do i now get the values for 52.8 that intersects at 24.1 that means I have to undergo, I have to do double interpolation. Now, how do I do double interpolation? If I want to really do the calculation by hand, it's going to be very long. And what I need is just this, this, this uh, value to you know, continue my calculation. So now, I want to show you how this can be done using calculator in case you face this kind of issues, maybe in exam hall. Okay, now how do I now start? Before I start, I will need to fill up this value, this one and this one. That is how I want to do. When I fill up these values, I can now use these two values to fill up to now find what I need here. Because this is where this is what I need. The intersection at 552.8 and 24.1. So now how do I do this? With my calculator on the I will just first of all make sure I'm in a normal mood. Then from there, for you to be sure you are on a normal mood, just click one. That is all. Then well, I'm not. I'm, I will now start doing the interpolation. So what do I do? First, I'm going to press mode, and then I will press start, which is three, and then I will press two, which is that equation, recreation equation. From there, with this table, I will fill this first. I will fill this, this, then I will fill this, this. Once I do that, I will put this value to get this. Okay, I said I will fill this, fill this, then on the Y column, I will fill this, fill this, then on getting the answer, for this, I will put this value to get this one. Once I'm through with that, I will come to these two, still fill this, fill this on the x axis, on the x column, then I will fill this and this on the y column, and then I will put this value to get this. From there, I will come back to do the remaining interpolation to get the value in this middle column. So let's do it. I have 50, I will type. 50 equal to then the next thing is 60 i will type 60 sorry about that this is equal to after 50 equal to i will type 50 60 sorry equal to and then i will move this cursor to the y column under 50 there i have 99 995.3 995.3 Point three, I will press equal to. Now the next one is seven two six point four. So I will press seven two six point four equal to. Now once I'm done, I will press this button SC, and then after that, I will press Shift and press this Start button. Then I will press five, which is regression, and then I will press five again. And then I will move this cursor leftward and then tap this value 52.8. So I will tap 52.8 and we'll press equal to. Now I have that value here, which is the value is 920. So I will, tap, I will, I will write 920.0. Okay. Now I have to fill this place also. I will also I will do exactly the same thing 
by pressing 3 here and then 2 and then I will fill up the same values beginning with 50 equal to 60 equal to and then I will move my cursor down to Y column then this time around I'm going to type this 951.7 equal to and then 684.6 equal to then I will press this button go to shift press that press 5 press 5 again bring my cursor backward and then type 52 points it equal to then I have this answer uh, eight seven six point nine okay now I'm going to use these two new values to get the one um, I need now so how do I do this right now this I will not be making use of 50 and 60 anymore. I'm going to make use of 20 and 25 and the two new values to get this. Okay, now how do I do that? I will still go back there. Just the way, the reason I'm I'm doing all this, going back to mood and all those things, so that you will not make any mistake because sometimes you might be in a wrong mood. Okay, so um, I will now start again by pressing two sorry not to mode three and then two okay from there i will put the values these values now 20 and 25 will be on my x column so right i will type there 20 equal to 25 equal to now on my y column i'll move my cursor to the y column directly on 20 i have this value 920 so i will type 920 equal to directly on 25 I have 876 so I will type 876.9 I will type equal to so I will now type this button to cancel it and then type shift and then 1 then I will type 5 5 and then bring my cursor backward and type 24.1 24.1 okay now i will press equal to this is the value i have been looking for since so i will now write this value 884 884.7 approximately 7 okay so now that is done if you really want to check your progress if you are on the line you check you see that these numbers are decreasing from 995 this one should be decreasing as long as the last one is decreasing so from 995 to 920 to 7 something is on the line of course you can see that 52 is closer to 50 than 60 so this number is closer 920 is closer to 995 than 72 four or seven two six that that means that the interpolation is correct now coming to here you can also see that eight seven six is closer to nine five one than six eight four so the interpolation is correct now moving horizontally you can see that the number is also decreasing the number is also decreasing you have nine twenty eight eight four point seven and eight seven six point nine now how do you now know if you at least by in looking at it if it is on the line or is correct you see that 24.1 is closer to 25 than 20. That means that the answer you get should be closer to this particular number. So you see 884.7 is quite closer to 876.9 than, than 820. So uh, that means that this uh, answer is correct. So uh, from my calculation, I can now conclude that my F my FCLB is for this for this uh, properties for these properties is eight eight four point seven.
answer so i can now proceed to do my calculation all right thank you guys for watching i hope you this video is beneficial for you is is of benefit to you so please if you find it uh, useful like my page like sorry um subscribe to my channel just press the subscription the subscribe button and it is done it's free it's free thank you so much bye